Well, not really. Oh, hell. Screw off. Yeah, yeah. How do you like that? Okay, so I got the Sarko away from my base. Uh, apparently, somebody had a Dodicarus nearby. And I'm pretty sure they lost a Dodicarus. Not my fault. In case, where's Dodicarus? That's dead. Watch this. I don't know why Dodicarus is out there alone, the saddle. But it was. And the Sarko killed it. Yeah. Whoops. Do you feel a little bad about that? Just a little bit. Welcome back to Ark Survivors. I am the Irish Warrior, and I take whiskey with my tea. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to safely build a base in Genesis. Now, you can pretty much do this anywhere but the Lunar Biome. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I haven't spent a lot of time there early on. Uh, this early in the game because I am I have started a new character for this little 13 at the moment so we're gonna be building the bog and the ocean now uh, volcanic and you know is certainly a possibility but and so is Arctic but those are fairly dangerous areas comparatively even this is pretty dangerous look at that stuff down there like, I don't want to go down there. So I'm actually going to start in the bog, and then I'm going to do another one for demonstration purposes in the ocean. So, step one. What you're going to want to do, especially if you're early on. Now, if you're already leveled up, you can skip all this and go straight to the building part. Uh, check the description below. Now, if you're leveling up, though, uh, just go to the ocean biome, because there's nothing of danger on the islands. And every one of the spawn points is on an island. So it's a pretty safe place to just gather stuff. Worst thing you're going to see is a pig on Mastic, which Looks like there's one right there. Or Ichionis. You know, if they steal something, no big deal. But get down here. Gather, gather, gather. And then just craft whatever. It doesn't even matter what you craft. Because you get experience for crafting. So it's grind out. Gathering and crafting until you get to at least level, I think it's 11, isn't it? Yes, level 11. From there, you can at least start building wooden structures, which will get you started. Now, you really want to be... Oh, yeah, there it is. 24. You really want to be 24 so you can start building stone, which can handle taking hits from most anything out here. But barring that, what you can do is just build wood and just get it high enough to get far enough away from anything that's really dangerous. Now, in the ocean, it's a little bit more difficult because when Megalodon comes for you, it's going to tear it apart. And if your foundation is the only thing keeping it above the water, then you're going to lose all your stuff. So that's why I'm saying I'm going to start in the bog and then I'm going to move, move and build an ocean safe house. Once I have stone, because the only thing out here that can damage stone is a donkey. And the donkeys are pretty deep, and you don't really have to worry about aggroing them most of the time. So, I'll come back when I have enough resources to start building my base. Okay, I was just taking a quick look around. No dangers as of yet, which is good. As you can see, I did start with thatch, but... That just doesn't work. Things come so quickly with so many teeth that you're not going to have time. And I think I hear bugs. Great. Alright, so we got to be quick about this. Uh, we'll get th I like to do this because it's just a good idea to get some of these door frames in. Uh, obviously, a lot of the things that are coming at to you, Door frames are really not going to stop them, but they will slow them down long enough for you to make your getaway. And that's that's what we're looking for here. We're just looking to make a getaway. As you can see, I did put that wall into the rock right there. Not the big a deal because I can use the ramps to get up to the ladder. 
But I also did that so I could just get a little closer to this rock face. Because where I want to go is right up there. Let's see. Let's get these. Oh. Oh. Yep. Let's see. Where's my torch? Go away. Go away. I don't want to. There we go. Uh, we got lucky that time. That was only a level 10. You can get real unlucky and get hit by like a level 100. Your torch isn't going to do you much good. Okay, so that's started. Let's see. A couple more of these walls down. That's going to be pretty much it for that. Alright, so I'm, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to get to the top of this rock here, which can be very safe from the uh, Denzians of the swamp. Like that guy right there. I bet you that's the one that killed me the other day, too. Oh, look at this, that one. Anyway, I think it's a good time to go back to the ocean biome, because they will tear through wood. Oh, wrong button. No. Stop moving. Okay, so this, yeah, whatever. This is what I was talking about. That's the Starco that got me last time. That bastard. Okay, so I want to work on my base. Yeah, come over here. Yeah. Can me meet fresh Irishman. God, he's fast, isn't he? Okay, so he's going to get on me really quick. So I'm going to try to get as far across the wall. I'm not going to get very far. I just want to get him away from my base. Here, he's almost on me. Oh, that doesn't take him long at all. Yeah, I actually want to capture him just because he killed me like five times the other day. But now that I got away from the base, I can go back to work. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about, about putting all those foundations down with those um, door frames. So you can get through them without anything falling you. And more importantly, put down enough of them so what just happened to me doesn't happen to you. Which will give you time to build your base and, you know, get to the top of whatever cliff you're trying to get to. Yes, I'm right. Let's go. I'm trying to go back to the biome. Stop talking. It's my turn to talk. Alright, go back to the bog. Hopefully he's far enough away. Okay, so you can see right there, kill by Stark on level 100. So this makes a lot of sense. I just teleported to the bog, and I immediately died. Like, <laughs> what? I didn't even see it happen. I saw a red glow. Okay, so you know how... Yeah, I'm ready to explore. Let's go. Where are you? Don't move. There we go. Alright, go biome. Bog. East. Okay, so you go into this like little neutral position, right? You know, where you got some sort of stasis, and that's where I was. And I saw this little red flash on my screen where you know indicated I'm him. Like, why have I been hit? I'm in stasis. What's going on? Next thing I know, I'm dead in the bog. Like, there needs to be like at least like a five second vulnerability. I feel like <laughs> when you first jump into a new area. Just so you don't die instantaneously because something has to be sitting right on top of the spawn point. Let's see what happens again because I'm spawned at the same spot. And it should be the same spawn point, I imagine. So, you know, I'm asking for it a little bit. Now I'm lagging, so, yep. Ooh. Oh. Didn't even get a chance to do anything. Like, it happened so fast. Like... This is inconvenient. Alright, so I have to figure out how. Alright, I've got to either one, just go back to the ocean and just by hand craft tools I need, or I need to somehow 
get my tools and that level 100 Sarko is now spawn camping my base. You know, so this sucks. Hey, you want to go kill Sarko for me? No? Okay. Screw you then. Alright, let's see. Where are you? Where'd you go? Come here. Come here. I'm done with you. Stop moving! Alright. Administration, bog. Alright, let's go southeast. Let's see, we have slightly better locations. I just need to get it away from my base. Probably end up dying like twice more before it happens, too. Okay, so I got the Sarko away from my base. Uh, apparently, somebody had a Dodicarus nearby. And I'm pretty sure they lost a Dodicarus. Not my fault. In case, where's Dodicarus? That's dead. Watch this. I don't know why Dodicarus is out there alone, the saddle. But it was. And the Sarko killed it. Yeah. Whoops. Do you feel a little bad about that? Just a little bit. Well, this has worked out quite well. I am now able to place down stone foundations. Just as I was getting to the top of this little plateau that I want to live on. Oh, there he is. I thought he was nearby. Oh, no. Nope. 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 Go away. Okay, so let's see. I probably need another layer all the way around, honestly. Uh, he's over there. I'll look over here. He started being a problem for me. Whatever. Yep. That's fine. You do that. And then I will place this here. That's not mine. Not actually trying to replace the wood foundations with stone, that just kind of happened because sometimes things don't go where exactly where you want them. That's fine. I just want to. There we go. Right. Oh! Yeah, he's still able to get a little too close. It's alright, we have more. Oh! Yep, he climbed. Hey, 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 hey. Go away! Yeah, I was afraid he was going to be able to do that. But that's where you use the door frames and such, but almost there. Not quite, but we're getting there. Alright, so I'm going to put some of these on and out. Okay, great to know. Screw you, asshole. Alright, so I am dropping my extra resources in here later. And I just keep grabbing more resources over on uh, the ocean biome. So far it is working out quite well. This is how you do it. See once I get that uh, outer wall put up, he won't be able to get up here and start damaging my actual base. Then all I have to do is comfortably build what I need up here. And truth be told, I can actually do a bit of gathering up here. And I actually looked around. Alright, lose food. Eat that. Eat that. There you go. Alright, so. We actually have a fair amount of space up here to work with, which is really good. So I have ample space. Oh, yeah, I got rocks up here. This is great. So. This is actually going to negate me having to go back to the ocean biome for a little while. Look at all this space up here. A lot of resources. And this is what I've been working towards. Now that I can get up here, now that I am up here, only thing I have to worry about is insects. And while they may be a, continue to be a major pain in the butt, at least I am here. Let's let gather up this. Very nice. And there's no other way up here aside from the base that I have built. Oh, someone else's base right down here. So actually, I am going to be limited to how much I can build over here. Because this guy had a uh, similar idea, and he's been building right there. So I won't be able to build quite over here, but I can still gather resources, you know. So that's great. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you build to a safe area in the bog biome. And this episode's gone gone on a little bit too long anyway, so I'm not going to do ocean biome base just yet. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Get a little bit of a crafting area set up up here so that uh, I can actually do stuff other than building all this stuff. I'm gonna, usually by the time you built this much, you've got, you know, you've done other things. But I've been really focused on just getting this base set up so I don't have to worry about other things. Right now I've got to worry about you. I wonder how big you are. I have my spyglass in here. Did I? Yes. Just not carrying things on me I can't afford to lose. Alright, what's... Yeah, you're the little fifteen. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a bow and kill this guy. He's not the one that was bothering me before, but still he... He needs to die. Eat. Alright, that's it for this episode. Uh, I will make another episode with an ocean... Oh! Damn. Hmm. I'll make another episode for an ocean biome base. I did not actually want to bring this with me. Oh! I don't have it on me, but I can still... Interesting, but... Once I pull something else up... No? Very interesting. Well, I'm not going to argue with that, certainly. Alright, well, that's it for this episode. Uh... <laughs> okay, so that's it for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, I will be shorter, and I will show what this looks like completed. Well, not really. Oh, hell. Screw off. Yeah, yeah. How do you like that? Okay, well, I'm gonna put the torch away. So that, you know, that's actually pretty nice. That wasn't even a very big swarm, but uh, and I don't have much for health at all. So I'm, I have, um, where is it? 145% melee damage. I'm gonna put a point in there because killing those in insects a little faster is of use. And I was only using a primitive um, torch, so it wasn't even the special. But, and I'll can't, you can't one-shot them with that, but you can kill them very quickly, as long as they're not really strong. However, you see my torch right down there is about half damaged. I don't have a spare on me right now. No, I don't. Did I put it in here? Well, not really. Oh, hell. Screw off. Yeah, yeah. How do you like that? Okay, I'll put the torch away. So that, you know, that's actually pretty nice. That wasn't even a very big swarm. Uh, and I don't have much for health at all. So I'm, I have, um, where is it? 145% melee damage. I'm going to put a point in there. Because killing those in insects a little faster is of use. And I was only using a primitive um, torch. So it wasn't even the special... But, and I'll can't, you can't one-shot them with that, but you can kill them very quickly, as long as they're not really strong. However, you see my torch right down there is about half damaged. I don't have a spare on me right now. No, I don't. Did I put it in here? Need to make sure I build some make sure of those. Because you don't want to be trying to repair those things while you're under attack. Okay, so that does it for this episode. Hmm, nice. Um... It's run a little bit longer than I really wanted it, so I'm going to do an ocean base and raft in the next episode. Uh, rafts are, you know, you should probably already, you should already know how to build a raft. It's just building an ocean base. Maybe I actually know what. I don't actually need to do that, I don't think. Well, maybe I do a fucking hell. I don't even know. Yeah. 
All right, well, that does it for this episode. Uh, now that I can actually gather stone comfortably, which I'm going to be doing so very soon over on the bog on top of that plateau, uh, also going to be coming back here and building a oceanic base and raft. However, uh, that's only going to be a small part of the next episode. Megalodon, 50. I'm going to keep my distance from you. See, the only thing you have to worry about in the water is megalodons and eels. I haven't even seen jellyfish out there. I wouldn't be surprised, but they're not, I don't think they're out there. Am I wrong? Say anything? No? Okay. So, I'm going to try to pick a place like that. So at least I got some rocks close to the top. My oceanic base will just be a sort of um, port area for my raft to dock at when I am, you know, not on board. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe below. This is the Irish Warrior. Over and out.